What's up flexors and potential flexors? It is a hot one here in Minnesota today. It is about 84 degrees, all sun, nice and sweaty. I just did my four hour time block and I got a workout. And you know what, it actually felt great. I don't mind working out in the hot sun like this. It's kinda nice, you work up a sweat, work out, get a nice tan, get some nice sun, and uh, it's all good. So one thing, one new thing I actually learned today so you sign up for a four hour time block and I thought that you just had to deliver all your packages no matter what, no matter if it took five hours, six hours, whatever. Um, that's not the case. An employee just informed me today that if you actually don't get done within four hours, you can come back to the warehouse and drop off your packages and, um, and then you're done for the day. I didn't know that. Um, it kind of evens out because a few, a few times it, uh, my packages only took like two hours. A couple times they took me like four and a half, five, whatever. Um, so it kind of evens out and I don't mind. But that's definitely good to know. Um, just found that out today. It seems like um, since this is sort of a newer program, either they're having, they're learn, they're kind of learning as they're going on, like what, what problems come out, what issues comes out. Because this is not, um, this program has not been around for very long. So they're learning things and and the drivers are learning things and this is good well that's that's how you that's how you grow your business you learn you learn what works what doesn't and you take the good and you leave the bad so um, that was a very uh, very helpful thing to learn today so um, another thing um, that I've been what was this my sixth shift some things will slow you down. I'd say the number one things that will slow you down on your route are apartment buildings. If you have an apartment delivery, uh, guaranteed that's going to slow you down a bit. Because um, if you try to access the building, um, half the time you're not going to be able to get in. Um, and then if that person's not home, you can look for the leasing office or you know the office where they drop off packages. And then not every, unfortunately, not every um, apartment complex has an office like that. Or maybe it's closed, it you know, has certain hours. So, um, you know, by the time you figure out, okay, they're not home, I can't get in the building, there's no safe place to leave it, I can't leave it in the office, um, or it's closed or they don't have one or whatever, then you have to take it back. So that um, is going to slow you down a bit, unfortunately. Um, the cool thing is, is that Amazon's working on these things called Amazon lockers. I've seen a few in a Cub Food so far, and it's just a big orange box with a bunch of lockers in it. And people can have their packages sent there instead of to their... Hey, sorry guys, my video stopped recording, and I didn't realize it, so I'm just going to finish it now. So, um, yeah, these things called Amazon lockers. So, um, they have these in places like Cub Foods. It's a big orange... Um, like box looking thing and what you can do is you can order something um, online from Amazon say you live in a small apartment and there's no leasing office and you're gonna work a lot well it's gonna be really hard to deliver to you so what they do is you can send them to these lockers and you can go and pick them up let's say say while you're shopping um, and and then that makes it just a lot easier for everybody so you can go get it when you want to um, Amazon doesn't have to try and uh, bring your package back several times um, and and if they if we can't deliver your package I think it's within three times then they send it back to uh, to where you bought it from so that's not good nobody nobody likes that no one's gonna be happy with that so these Amazon lockers are pretty cool um, other things that can slow you down um, the GPS that they have is I would say good, but not great. It's not 100% accurate all the time. I'd say about 80% of the time, it'll get you where you want to go. Um, but there's definitely been a few times where it's uh, malfunction, or not not even malfunction. It sends you to the wrong place, especially um, in these like newer housing developments where there is... Um, you know, houses being built on like a street and you can just tell everything is brand new. Maybe it's not like on the GPS system yet. Um, a few addresses that I've had there, it sent me completely like miles away, like not even close. So um, what I've actually been doing is using this app called Waze, W-A-Z-E. It is probably the best GPS 
system that I've ever used. It's very accurate. Um, so I have that uh, kind of on standby if the Amazon GPS system is not working correctly. And uh, Waze will get you there pretty much every time. So um, luckily I haven't had any uh, issues not being able to find a place. Um, but other things that might slow you down, just normal stuff. If you got to go to the bathroom, um, if you run out of gas or something like that, just stuff that would stop anybody. Um, but yeah, uh, hope this information helped you guys. I'm learning as this is going along, and you know I'm still pretty new to this, and I hope uh, you guys are getting a lot of good information out of this. See you next time.